Generic greetings and welcome back to PC Building Simulator once again. In the previous episode we managed to finally get the machine benchmarked to the proper rating. It was actually well over what we required. It was like 2, 3 something or other and it was <laughs> it benched at 3 something or other. So yeah, we'd uh, really, really improved it by, you know, just putting a new graphics card in it as opposed to the processor. Uh, heart transplant that I was uh, performing originally. Either way, this episode we need to go through and we've got three machines currently uh, lined up. Two of them with blown um, PSUs and CPUs. Or is this, uh, this might be the hard disk actually on this one. It is, no, yeah, this is hard disk and uh, power supply unit. That's what PSU means, um, I believe. And um, this one is PSU and CPU, uh, which is central processing unit. Anyway, let's get on with that. So we need to first find out what is broken in this one. Well, we know it's a HDD and the PSU. So we will remove the... Where is the... I'm looking around for... Aha, there it is there. It's under that. Right, so we can remove these. And we can get rid of... We'll just pull this massive... Um, rail out. Actually, does it come out the back? It does come out the back. Dandy. So, this side is the one we need to take off. Obviously, once you've played a lot more and you're familiar with the cases, you'll be able to go, ah, this is what I need to do, but um, sadly, that is not me. So, we need to pull that out, we need to remove that, and we need to open the drive bay, and we've got a 2 terabyte Seagate there. And the PSU is busted as well, apparently. Um, yeah, the PSU is knackered. Um, so, we'll take off um, this mounting plate remove the see removing these ones here then I'm these ones here I removed that should you should now be able to remove the PSU because this plate is like an adapter for different sizes I believe so yeah don't think we need I assume we could just remove the uh, ones that I did so there's the, that's removed out oh so we can slide it out rather than ah that's why it slides out rather than you placing it in the back and doing that that's why they've done it that way right okay fair enough Fair enough. Fair enough. It's actually quite a clever design, that. Nice. Okay, so we will check. We have storage broken. Two terabyte Seagate. Storage filter. Uh huh. 200. There we go. Add to cart. And the next thing is power supplies. Well, I don't think putting this uh, 250 one in would work. So it's a Power King 600. So we're just replacing it with the parts that um, were already in there. So it's just a basically a full, which is to swap out. So replace PSU and uh, HDD and PSU. So that's uh, 320, and it's only 180 at the moment. Okay, that's good. So, we've done that. I will put that back here for now, because we can't do anything with that one. So this one is similar sort of deal. It is the, um, the uh, CPU this time, and the... Um, and the PSU. So... Rip this out. The rubber grommets there. That's where it is. Um, ah, so we need to pull all the cables out first, so we'll turn this on. There we go. So it's all the cabling. Is that the wrong cable? I might have removed the wrong cable there. And one more, which I can't actually access. Or can I? Yeah, it's that one. Okay, I'll actually install that. That's the uh, case cable. Which is all just one big uh, lump now. See that? It's one big connector rather than multiple ones. Um, to do them all differently. Which is good. <laughs> right, um, so... Yeah, remove this. So it looks like we've got a Ryzen. Uh, 3. Ryzen 3. Okay. So, same again as the last one. We'll check with the processor here. 
We've, uh, <laughs> that's just going to sit there and niggle at me. It's going to eat at me <laughs> that we bought that thing in. It can be used in other machines, hopefully. Um, so we need a Ryzen 3 quad core 1200. So it is a... Hang on. 1200. Nothing. Ah, oh, because it didn't work that way. So there we go. We'll add that. Um, in terms of power supplies, we'll check again. It is... Ooh. I think it's that one, isn't it? The Cooler Master one. Because the Sheen Power King was the other one. Yeah, I think it was that. I think it's that one. Does it not tell me, though? It doesn't tell me who owns it. It should do. Um, Cooler Master 500. It's a bronze power supply. Um, so... Double check that again. So, Cooler Master MWE Bronze 500. MWE Bronze 500, yes. That's fine. So, there's those added. So, currently in the cart, we have four things um, two power supplies, one processor, and the, uh, the Barracuda. Um, HDD. So, put that next to each other. And this one now, which is going to be more in-depth, because yes, apparently they said they bought this ages ago. Well, that's... I don't think that's an old case. Hmm. So, upgrade to 8 gigabytes of RAM. Let's just pull the side off. Currently got 2 gigabytes. Okay, so we need another 6 gig. Um, so, we can either just go for... Do you want to go for the value RAM again? That would be 60 if we did that way. Hmm. Yeah, that's the best way of doing it. There's that. And it also says, install an i5-640 or better. It's currently got the moment. Pentium 4. Oh, it's a Celeron. <laughs> uh, G3900. Um, okay, it's Z170 uh, motherboard. That's fine. That's okay. Um, so, I've currently got that there, the Celeron G3900, and it wants me to put in a i5-6400. There we go. That should be it. Let's buy that. Um, do we buy that? Is that everything? RAM's in the processor in the... Odd will arrive tomorrow. Okay, so we'll end the day. And then go to work. Obviously pick up our mountainous pile of parts there. And we'll get this all installed. So, installation of the processor, which is that one. I mean, I could have put that in, but quite frankly, <laughs> um, it'll be a bit too high. I did consider putting that in, but um, I wanted to go for the basic one to keep that for if there's another benchmarking thing, because that's still a decent processor. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and that one is the same. So, power cable. There we go. Um, install will be these. One, two, three. Install RAM. And that should be okay, I hope. Don't need to benchmark it, we just need to power it on. Just for our peace of mind, I'm guessing. Did I put thermal compound on that? I can't remember. 
think I might have missed it out. I can't remember. If I didn't have such a massive headache, I might be able to remember things. Um. Yeah. Right. Sorry, should be paying more attention. My fault. As always. Um. Let's put that back in. Right, we know it's got thermal compound now. No. It might. It might let it go out the door. The game might just say, yeah, no problem whatsoever. Everything's fine. Um, but it also might show up in there and say, no, that's that's all kinds of not working. Um, so that's fine. We will get the next one then. So this one, which is the H PSU and hard disk. Okay. So install. Um, oh, let's well sell that. Just gonna go down and sell anything that's broken. Sell, sell, sell. Right, this one was. Oh yes, which one was this? Replace. Mm, yeah, I didn't. I didn't like mark which one was which. Pretty sure it's this one. Um. I think it's this one. But we'll see. Eventually we'll get a tool that will automatically do this. So cables. There's a lot of cables because obviously we are having to replace... Well, we've replaced the power supply, so it's all the cables. Shouldn't really... Bad form actually plugging in the power cable while we're still doing all of this. Very bad form. Um, close that up. Install. Side panel. It's actually the other side panel I'm doing now. <laughs> okay. You know, that's a that's a big bundle of wires right there, isn't it? <laughs> and that's what we've been messing with. All that. Okay, there's the side. And that should be us. Power it up. Yeah, there we go. There's another one done. Excellent. Okay, and then the last one. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take the liberty of got putting that down for some reason. It wouldn't let me. Uh, I'm going to... Collect, yeah, I'm going to collect that one. So that, that one works. That's the one the award-winning author. Who's, uh, well, we'll see. Um, and now we've got this one here, which is HDD and PSU. Yeah, that's fine. So that one is that was the right combination. If we got the wrong combination, it would probably tell us. So uh, we've got new parts and other things. I'm going to read those later. I want to get this one sorted. So this one is replacing the... Um, the power supply. I mean, just look at the textures. Look, so it's got this like um, I don't know what's like a like a Teflon pattern type thing, or like a sandblasted pattern. That attention to detail is uh, really, really good. Obviously, I've, I've, I think I've said it before that um, when the when we're working with partners and stuff, when the you know the putting branded parts in that are supposed to be realistic, then obviously the attention to detail is mandatory. <laughs> um, so let's just put that processor back in there. Close that down. We'll install thermal paste. I believe it was that one. Yeah, because the other one was... Uh... How are we installing those? It's all over the place there. Um, yeah, the... I think attention detail is um, fairly mandatory. Uh, sorry, I um, just want to check one thing. I've been distracted for a moment here. Oh, right. Okay, it looks like it has um, like a loom coming out of it. I was wondering why it doesn't go on the back of that... Uh, that... That power supply. It's because it has like a loads of blocks on the end so it's not it's not actually a modular power supply that by the look of it 
it's just it has these little extra bits instead of having a huge loom come out of it. All right, fair enough. Right, so we'll uh, we'll finish the cabling anyway because this should be fairly easy. Obviously, we don't have to do the motherboard one because uh, they're all in. It's just the power supply which we did. That's in there. That's in there. We'll install the side panels. The nice window one so we can see everything. And then that one there. I mean, that's nice. And one. And then two. There we go. And we should make it boot to the OS. Really need an auto cabling tool. Right. That's booted. Leave by the door. There's another one done. And that is... Um, that one done. Excellent. So we'll discard those. So this one here, good day. I knew all this technology was a terrible idea. It was doomed for the outset and I have sit by the whole technology farce tumbles down around me. You think electronics these days would be able to handle a simple 500 page novel? Apparently it's simply too much for ask. Uh, first my keyboard gave up the ghost, now I'm being told and I'm running on disk waste. Whatever happened in the days of just writing directly into paper and submitting the finished draft by hand? Naturally, what escape? I digress. Uh, fairly simple to fix, I have more disk waste. Upgrade to 500 gig of storage. I don't know what he's got. Uh, but we'll accept that job. Uh, the next is new parts available. It's uh, Team Group Team T Force Dark Red. And, oh, that's loads of RAM by the look of it. Fix my PC. Something wrong with my PC. It says non-system disk when I turn it on. Warranty for the HDD just expired, so it's probably that. Place hard disk drive and graphics card. This is from uh, David Wild Actual Tools. We'll accept the job there. New parts. Got some graphics cards. And Silvertone ST8 FTI. I don't know what that is. Either way. Uh, dream is over. Hi, Blakey. Let you know that the film classics archive is dead. Not because of you. I'm super grateful that you came through those repairs, but actually I got hit with a legal takedown request. Turns out hosting a few hundred cult movies for free download is illegal? Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's not like you can buy the DVDs or anything. These companies uh, don't even care about the movies. They just want to bully the little guy. It's a scandal. But I'm not going to take it lying down. I'm going to fight with every step of the way I wash this space. <laughs> Uh, former chief archivist, archivist, and cult film experts. Uh, nice little narrative going on here. Uh, things aren't working fast enough. I won't be happy if I can't benchmark at least 3340 Nicola. Oh no, not one of those again. Okay, we'll accept the job. And then we'll go for these ones. So, we have to upgrade 500 gig of storage, replace the HDD and graphics card. So those should be fairly easy tasks. Uh, the other one, obviously, is really my kryptonite, my nemesis, my uh, <laughs> the thing I just can't manage. Although, to be fair, I've only done and semi-failed one of them, so it's not all bad. So I have enough money for... Um, I'm going to actually install system info here. <laughs> Never actually checked our PC. That's something I didn't... Uh, Never, never thought. We haven't benchmarked our PC, have we? Intel. Intel Pentium what? Two cores at 3... Th oh, it's a Celeron probably then. Because yeah. we, we haven't actually done that. I'm, I'm assuming you can upgrade your PC. It does say pick up PC, so we probably can upgrade it. Alright, that's a nice little bit of detail there. Can you move these icons around? No, you can't. Uh... We haven't got Will It Run on there. We haven't got lighting. Should we install lighting? Let's see what that does. Should have a little play now. Oh, wow. Really? We can get some lighting in here. That we can actually buy lights and change the lighting. Surely not. <laughs> uh, we haven't got 3D Mark. Virus Scanner. Haven't got Will It Run. Let's remove programs. Gonna remove lighting, don't need that. Um, we'll remove system info as well. And now we'll restart. <laughs> I like that, that's a nice little detail there. That's pretty good. Okay, so we're gonna leave it there. Next episode, we'll go ahead and do this. I might get, uh, I'm looking for shop here. I might get, I'm not gonna get the quick screw or the auto connect tools. I'm really wanting to get the uh, the parts ranking so I can start learning more about the different components and how they compare to one another. But I also really want another workbench. So I think it's going to be another workbench is what we're going to go for. But I don't want to buy it now, just in case 
what we need to buy is going to be more expensive and then we're screwed because you can't take a loan out. But uh, either way, we're going to leave it there. Next episode, we'll go ahead and, uh, yeah, just crack on with those jobs. Uh, as always, hope you are enjoying the videos on the series. Let me know in the comments if uh, that is the case or if it's not the case. Just, you know, give some feedback and all that. As always, thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.